Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. After you have added either a drop down field or a text field to a form, you can double click that field to open either the drop down properties or the text field properties dialog boxes. You can then use the tabs that appear within this dialog box to set the appearance and functionality of the selected form field. You can then click the close button within the dialog box to apply your settings. In this lesson you will learn how to set the properties that appear on the format tab within these two dialog boxes. These settings will only appear on the format tab in the respective dialog boxes of drop down fields and text fields. You can click the format tab to format text input from users of the form within the selected field. Use the Select Format Category drop-down to select the type of formatting to apply to entries made within the form field. The choices are None, which is the default choice, Number, Percentage, Date, Time, Special, and Custom. To format the field as a number field, select the Number choice from the drop-down to display the Number Options area below. Use the Decimal Places drop-down to select the number of decimal places to display within the field. Use the Separator Style drop-down to select the desired comma and period separator style to apply to values within the field. To apply a currency symbol to the field, choose one from the Currency Symbol drop-down. To set the position of a selected currency symbol, Use the Symbol Location drop-down to choose the currency symbol's location within the field. You can set the display of negative values within the field by checking the Show Parentheses and or the Use Red Text checkboxes to display negative values in parentheses and or in red text. The example of Current Format field shows how your current formatting choice will make the values appear within the field. To format the field as a percentage, select the Percentage choice from the drop-down to display the Percentage Options area below. Then use the Decimal Places drop-down to select the number of decimal places to display in the field. Use the Separator Style drop-down to select the desired comma and period separator style to apply to values within this field. To format the field as a date or date and time, select the Date Choice from the drop-down to display the Date Options area below. Then select the Date or Date Time format to apply from the listing shown in the Date Options area. To create your own custom date format, choose the custom choice that appears at the bottom of this list and then enter a custom format into the field that appears below the list. To format the field as time, select the time choice from the drop down to display the time options area below. Then select the time format to apply from the listing shown in the time options area. To create your own custom time format, choose the custom choice that appears at the bottom of this list and then enter a custom format into the field that appears below the list. To format the field as zip or postal codes, phone numbers, social security numbers, or to create your own custom format, Select the Special choice from the drop-down to display the Special Options area below. Then select the Special format to apply from the listing shown in the Special Options area. To create your own custom format, choose the Arbitrary Mask choice at the bottom of this list and then enter a custom format into the field that appears below the list. To format the field by using JavaScripts, to apply custom formatting and keystroke validation. Select the custom choice from the drop-down menu to display the custom options area below. Click the edit button next to the custom format script field to open the JavaScript editor dialog box. 
You can type a JavaScript into the large white text field shown here, or copy and paste a JavaScript into this text field. Then click the OK button when finished. You can then click the Edit button that appears next to the Custom Keystroke Script field to open the JavaScript Editor dialog box. You can type a JavaScript into the large white text field shown here, or copy and paste a JavaScript into this text field. You can then click the OK button when you're finished. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.